Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to study sand casting molds and mold making. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting, and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Sand casting molds and mold making. Foundry sands are silica, or silica mixed with other minerals. Sand should be able to stand high temperatures without melting or degrading. Sand should have appropriate size to provide a good surface finish on the cast part and allow for gases to escape during pouring. Small sizes provide a good surface finish but have lower permeability compared to large sizes. Sand particles are held together by water and clay, by volume, 90%, 3% and 7%, respectively. The mold cavity is formed by compacting the sand around the pattern for both cope and drag contained in the flask. The simplest packing process is hand hammering, accomplished manually by a foundry worker. In addition, various machines have been developed to mechanize the packing procedure. The quality of the sand mold is determined by Strength, which is the mold's ability to maintain its shape and resist erosion caused by the flow of molten metal. It depends on grain size and shape and binder's quality. Permeability, which is the ability of the mold to allow gases to pass through the sand voids. Thermal stability, which is the ability of the sand at the surface of the mold cavity to resist cracking and buckling upon contact with the molten metal. Collapsibility which is the ability of the sand to give way and allow the casting to shrink without cracking the casting. It also refers to the ability to remove the sand from the casting during cleaning. Reusability, which is the ability to reuse the sand to make other molds. Sand molds classifications. Green sand molds are made of sand, clay and water. They contain moisture at the time of pouring. They possess good strength good collapsibility and permeability, good reusability and the least expensive of the molds. Moisture however, can cause some defects in the castings. Dry sand molds, are made of organic binders. The mold is backed in an oven at temperatures between 200 and 320 degrees Celsius, for strengthening and hardening reasons. Better dimensional accuracy compared to green sand molds but more expensive. Skin dried mold where the advantages of dry sand molds are partially achieved by drying the surface of a green sand mold to a depth of 10 to 25 mm. So, we have studied sand casting molds and mold making. Thank you.